On December 31, 2009, city funding ended for landlord and tenant advisory services operated by the Community Information and Referral Society. The province stepped in, offered a new service. We said, why are we funding this service locally if you can get it online or, or uh, from the telephones? The impact of losing this local service was revealed in an independent evaluation at Council this week. The assessment starts with a statement of the original objectives of the Landlord and Tenant Advisory Service. One was to educate people about their rights and responsibilities with respect to landlord and tenant issues and matters. And the second was to be preventative in nature, and that is to reduce conflict between landlords and tenants, and ultimately to keep people out of crisis housing situations, such as shelters and absolute homelessness. The evaluation identified some gaps in the provincial service. Those clients with mental health issues, those clients that had addictions, uh, brain injury, language or literacy issues, were having difficulty accessing the provincial either online system or telephone system. Local agencies, including the Red Deer Housing Team and the Central Alberta Community Legal Clinic, are addressing some, but not all, of the needs left unmet by the provincial service. Our question was, should the provincial government provide it or the municipal? We made a decision that the provincial government should, because that was in their mandate, and now if it isn't meeting our, our goal, then I think it's the provincial government's responsibility to make that right. In the end, Council voted to refer the report to the Red Deer Family and Community Support Services Board, the Community Housing Advisory Board, other relevant local agencies, and the appropriate provincial government ministry for their information. Patricia Smith, Shaw TV, Red Deer.